I'm Dawn Laney. I'm a genetic counselor and assistant professor in the Department of Human Genetics at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I'm here to help answer questions about the role certain genetic changes, mutations, or variants play in Fabry disease. Let's start at the very beginning. In each of our cells, we all have genetic instructions called DNA that tell our bodies how to grow, develop, and reproduce. We inherit these instructions from both of our parents. The DNA is then organized into genes. Genes group the DNA's instructions to create proteins with a specific job. Some genes form proteins that help your body function. Other proteins provide directions for cells to grow and specialize or protect the body from infections. Still other proteins act as enzymes that break down complicated molecules in the body. If there is a change or a variant in a gene, it changes how a gene forms a protein. Think of each gene as being spelled in a certain way in order to make a specific protein. A small typo or change in spelling can have a very large impact on the meaning of the word. For example, changing a single letter in the word cat can transform the word into car. This completely changes the meaning. When this type of change happens in a gene, it's called a variant or mutation. Variants can change the gene's instructions and affect how the resulting protein is made or shaped. Depending on the protein's job or function, a differently shaped protein can't do its work effectively. Accordingly, just one gene variant can cause a genetic disease. Fabry disease is caused when there is a variant in the GLA gene that leads to a missing or differently shaped protein. In this case, the protein is an enzyme called alpha-galactosidase A. If an individual has a misshapen, misfolded, or missing alpha-galactosidase A enzyme, then it can't do its job correctly. When a variant in GLA makes an alpha-galactosidase A enzyme that is unable to work, it can't break down the complex fatty waste substances or substrates in the cells. This buildup causes specific substrates to build up in the body and eventually lead to tissue and organ damage and the symptoms of Fabry disease. The medical issues and symptoms seen in Fabry disease are reviewed in detail in the symptom-focused community videos. To learn more about the signs, symptoms, and management of a specific GLA variant, talk to your healthcare provider or genetic counselor. There are more than a thousand known variants in the GLA gene many of which cause Fabry disease. Depending on the type of variant and how it affects the formation of the enzyme, it can result in different timing and severity of health issues in people living with Fabry disease. For example, some variants increase the chance for children to have Fabry-related symptoms like nerve pain and gastrointestinal issues like belly pain and diarrhea as a child. Other variants increase the chance to have Fabry-related health issues with the heart or the kidneys in adulthood, but no pain issues in childhood. The gene variant and some other factors that we don't quite understand means that Fabry symptoms can vary greatly from person to person, even within the same family, where they each have the same gene variant. Even with this measure of uncertainty, knowing your GLA variant can be very useful. Beyond any insights related to the timing and number of Fabry disease symptoms, knowing your GLA variant can help you understand how Fabry runs in your family, or if you are the first person in the family to have this variant. Most often, a person with Fabry disease inherits their GLA variant from their mother or their father. However, in rare cases, the GLA variant may have occurred in that person as a brand new gene change we call de novo. The easiest way to determine if a variant is inherited or new is to work with a genetic counselor to review their family health history and identify family members at risk to have Fabry disease. If you know your GLA variant, then the family members can be tested for the same variant and may not need more extensive genetic testing. Check with your healthcare provider about what testing may be right for you and your family. Your healthcare provider may already know what variant you have but it can also be important for you to know it too. To learn more about your variant and what this means for you, be sure to ask your healthcare providers. If you'd like more information about variants and what causes Fabry disease, download the Visual Guide to Understanding Fabry brochure. It's located under Fabry Resources on Fabry Connect. You can also sign up to join the Fabry Connect community. 
You'll learn about new videos and resources as they become available on the site. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video requested by your Fabric community.